Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use the rename object tool to keep a scene well organized in 3D Studio Max. So without any further delay, let's get started. Uh, so here we are in 3D Studio Max. Let's uh, create some object. So here I'm creating one teapot and there's one more teapot and this I'm going to remove the sprout and the lid and it becomes a cup. Now renaming is uh, a very simple task in 3D Studio Max. We need to simply select the object and in the modify tab we have the name and this can be uh, changed easily. Now suppose we have multiple objects. So let's create some copies of these. So here we have so many teapots and uh, we also have some cups which we created using the teapot tool. Now let's check the list here and in the list as you can see it is showing you uh, the names as teapot uh, 001, teapot 002 and it is up to till teapot uh, 012. Now suppose we want to segregate the cups from the teapot. We want to rename the cup as cup. In the list it is difficult to find out which one is a cup. So for that uh, to rename all these cups what we have to do is we have to first select all these cups like this. Now as you can see once you have selected multiple objects in the modified tab it will not allow you to rename these objects. If it is a single object we can easily rename it but when we have these multiple objects selected it is difficult to rename them using the modify tab. Now for this uh, we have one tool so let's go to the tools menu and inside this you have uh, one option that is rename objects. Click on the rename objects and here you get a dialog box that is rename objects dialog box. Now uh, we have so many options here I'll explain all those uh, starting with the first one that is base name. So the base name of the teapot or the cups which are selected right now is teapot 001 and uh, maybe teapot 004, 5 like that. So, but we want to rename it as cup 001 or cup 002 something like that. So we'll have to change the base name. So in the base name uh, make sure the base name is checked and then we'll type cup. So this is going to be the base name for the cups which are selected. Now we have to add a numbering. For adding numbering uh, there is an option that is numbered. So in the numbered we can uh, set a base number and its steps. The base number is uh, the number from where the numbering starts. So let's start the numbering from 1 and step is the increment. So 1 plus 1. So that is going to be uh, cup 0 1, cup 0 2, cup 0 3 like that. Step 1 and then afterwards you have to click on rename. Once you have clicked on the rename, now we'll open the list and see what has happened. Now you can see in the list uh, these cups which were selected and they have been renamed as cup 01, cup 02, cup 03, 4, 5, 6 like that. Now this is one way. So this way we have uh, renamed multiple objects using this tool. Now further if we have uh, more objects let's create few more objects here so now I'm creating three rows of the cups and the teapots and let's check the list now you can see in the list it is showing you so many cups and so many teapots uh, and we want to make the scene more organized so here what I want is I want to segregate the cups which are in the top row from others so for that first of all we'll have to select these cups which are there in the top row like this then we'll go to the tools and rename objects and inside this I'm not going to change the base name here because the base name is going to be the same that is cup instead what I want is I want to add a prefix so I'll check this option that is prefix and here I'll write row 3 that is top layer row 3 and then click on rename now we open the list and in the list you will find that now you can see these cups which were selected has been renamed as a row 3 cup 
13, row 3, cup 14 and like that. Similarly, in case you want to uh, rename the other as well. So you have to select them first. And now I'll go to the tools and rename objects. And in this, let's uncheck the base name because we don't want to change the base name. Click on prefix. And in this we can add row 2 and then click on rename. So when we click the list, we have segregated the uh, cup in the row 2 and row 3. Okay, now further, suppose you have uh, these, let's uh, select these cups again and change the color to red. So let's uh, change the color of uh, some of the cups from other rows as well to red. So here you can see in this uh, scene we have uh, the red cups in the top row that is uh, row number 3, row number 2 and row number 1. So what I want is I want these things to get segregated from others so for that we'll have to first of all select all these cups which are there in row number one two and three then we'll go to the tools and rename objects and over here what we can do is we can add a suffix to them first of all uncheck the base name because the base name is going to remain the same and in suffix you can add that is red because these are red ones so type red you can give any other name of your choice and then click on rename so once you click on that when we check the list you will find that uh, the selected cups which are in red color uh, is having a suffix as red so either these cups are in row one row two or any or third row uh, it is having a suffix as red so this is going to help you a lot in selecting these objects so whenever you want to select you have to read these uh, names and you can easily pick up those and make any kind of changes okay now beside this we have some option here now suppose we want to again rename uh, these uh, objects so first of all let's go to the list and in this you have this teapot let's select these teapots I have selected these uh, uh, teapots here and we'll explore other renaming options here. So inside this you've got an option that is remove first and you have uh, something called remove last. So basically uh, when you check this option like remove first and then it is uh, uh, where you have to type in the number of characters you want to remove from the name. So if I say remove first and here I say three digit. So that is going to remove three characters from the name. So let's use this option. Make sure put off this base name off and rename. Now let's check the list. So here we have a uh, few names in the list that is pot 001, pot 003, pot 00 like that because the three characters of their name has been removed. So that way we can uh, remove characters either from the beginning of the name or from the from the end. So let's again select these parts here and I want to remove the numbering as well. So already it's selected, we'll go to the tools and rename objects and this time uh, uncheck the base name first. Then you have the remove last and remove last I want to remove two digit. So I'll type two and say uh, let's type three digit here three and click on rename once you click on the rename the last three characters from the name will be removed so now let's check the list and you can see the name of these teapot is now it's showing pot so we have removed three characters from the beginning and three characters from the end so in this way we can anytime rename the objects and uh, update the name of the object so it helps a lot in keeping the scene organized so that is how we can use the rename object uh, tool in 3d studio max i hope uh, you'll find this interesting thank you so much for watching